Hi guys, I'm Liz and welcome to The Quick Journey here on YouTube. If you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment letting me know what you would like to see here in the upcoming weeks. Today I have a fun little get it all done video. I had a to do that was on my list that was kind of looming over me. I'm going to take you along as I kind of tidy up those last few things and then I am going to share with you a recipe that not only does my family love but I love it because it's simple it only uses a few ingredients and it comes together really quickly so it's great for those busy weeknight meals when maybe you have kids doing sports or I don't know just a busy night so anyway stay tuned for that first we are going to tackle a to-do that has been looming over my head we have blinds in this house that have just been <laughs> destroyed by our sweet little rag doll cat. For some reason, she loves chewing the strings that are in between all of the wood slats of our faux wood blinds. And slowly, she has worked her way around the house. I am not kidding when I say she has ruined almost every single wooden blind that we have in our home. It's been extremely frustrating, but there's nothing we can do about it. So we've slowly been replacing them with either a cellular shade or curtains, depending upon the room. So she had also destroyed every single blind in our master bedroom, which I will be showing you. There was little to no privacy on the bottom portion of our windows and they needed to be fixed. But when I would price things out, they are just so expensive and I just couldn't bite the bullet because we have four windows that need to be redone in our bedroom. I was trying to figure out how can I have these blinds replaced without spending oodles and oodles of money. I have purchased cheap blinds in the past and I've always been unhappy with them. Blinds are one of those areas where you really get what you pay for and if you skimp on the blinds then they're either not going to go up and down evenly or they're just not going to last long. We had some blinds um, in a previous house where we wanted to do it on a budget and they would not lift. By the time we moved out of that house, they would barely raise and lower and it just got really irritating. So that was a lesson learned and I knew I didn't wanna go with cheap blinds in this house because this is hopefully our forever home. So I was brainstorming, trying to figure out what I could do to manage this situation without spending a ton of money. And finally I decided, what about getting rings for the curtains that are in there and just completely taking the blinds down all together. Um, one of the reasons we don't use our curtains is because they were in a, is a pocket curtain and so they just didn't slide very easily and so we didn't use them, we just left them in place. But I found some really cool, nice, um, curtain clips on Pottery Barn. They were on clearance and I got them for a really great price. I ended up spending about $100 on clips for all of the curtains in our room as opposed to spending a couple hundred dollars just on one blind. So I felt really good about that and I'm going to take you along with me as I take down the curtains, take down the blinds, and then put the curtains back up and just leave the blinds off. It has been so nice. The light has been so pretty coming in that room and I'm really gonna like it whenever winter comes and we just have lots of gray days because it's gonna let all the natural light in that could possibly come in and I'm really looking forward to that. So come along with me as I fix this little eyesore that has been bothering me for probably up to a year um, in our master bedroom. quite a mess here with these blinds. First things first, I cleared off both of our nightstands 
and took down the curtains that were hanging up there, took down the blinds, and then cleaned everything off just so I was working with a nice, tidy slate. from where you're at but these curtains and curtain rods were so dusty I always am so surprised with how dusty things can get that don't even get touched or messed with I did wipe down the rods and the windows and after I was done rehanging everything I vacuumed my curtains just to give them a little bit of freshness <music> Working, Julia apparently cut her fingers so she is grabbing a band-aid out of our bathroom and yes that is tin foil that I had behind the curtains <laughs> to cover up a huge spot um, that was sagging in the blinds from where the cat chewed on it I am going to link these rings below because they are fantastic and I think they would work with a wide array of curtains. They're from Pottery Barn. I got them on clearance and I was so impressed with the quality. These are the small rings and they worked so well with my curtains. I ended up buying a tin pack for each curtain that I had so I have four panels and I bought four of the tin packs that the rings came in it was cheaper that way and it was exactly what I needed for this space I ended up keeping three of the rings on the outside of the curtain hanger and then putting the other seven on the inside so I could slide the curtains to cover the windows and that ended up working perfectly. I get asked a lot over on Instagram about these corner curtain rods. They have worked out beautifully in this space. They are sturdy, they're the perfect size, they are adjustable, and I love the simple crystal ball that is on the end of each of them. It's a subtle feminine touch for this room. I will link them down below because we have really loved them. This room is already looking better. The sunlight is pouring in and now I'm going to take down all the brackets that were holding up the blinds and I'm gonna wipe all of the woodwork down and get this place feeling so fresh and clean.
having these curtains. I will link them down below. They are a creamy white and they're perfect for filtering the light. They're not blackout curtains, but they have a beautiful linen texture to them and they are lined, so they do offer some privacy. They've been perfect in this area and I love them and have used them in other places in our home as well. done and I can already tell I am loving this so much. It is so nice to get down those blinds that were looking so janky and just not chic at all and it feels so clean and fresh in here and I know I'm going to love being able to close these drapes whenever I am wanting a little bit of privacy or to filter the sunlight. just showing you this one corner I also did the other corner on Mark's side of the bedroom and it turned out just as well now I am gonna take you into the kitchen because every day around 1230 or 1 I start prepping for our evening meal every morning I look at my meal plan and I take out what needs to be taken out of the freezer so today I took out ground beef and it was thawing in our sink all morning long and then come one o'clock it's ready for me to cook it. So I'm gonna brown the ground beef, add in all of the ingredients to help fill out the meal and then I'm gonna pop it in the fridge until I'm ready to bake it. That's one thing I love about this meal. You have good quality ingredients and you can keep it in your fridge for a few hours until you're ready to cook it. So I am all about making things early in the day and when I have more time and then baking them later. Afternoons and evenings are always so busy in our house. Maybe it's the ages of my kiddos, they're getting more active, and it's just not something that I can avoid. So being able to have these easy meals that come together quickly and can be made ahead of time and popped in the oven later, they are just the sweet spot for me right now. So anyway, not only is this easy, it tastes amazing and every single person in our family loves it, I will link the recipe below because it's on my blog and you guys are gonna love it too. So definitely make sure you check that out. One of the best parts of this meal is that it's basically a one pot meal. You could do this start to finish in this one stock pot. I like to make the filling in the stock pot and then pour it in a nine by 13. That's just my preference. Either way, it is so simple. Right now I am just gonna brown the beef and then I'm gonna drain it and then add all the fillings and toppings. It is so easy and so good and it really fills up those hungry bellies and I love that I can make it ahead of time. Here I am washing as I go. That is one of my huge homemaker tips. If you are cooking and you have a minute, definitely just rinse things and wash things off so that step is done and it really makes the after dinner prep so much easier.
Here's a question. Do you guys cook with an apron on? I wear an apron every time I'm in the kitchen. It always seems like when I'm not wearing one, I lean against the counter and I get something on my clothes. And so I always throw on this apron. I love this one. I will link it down below. And let me know in the comments if you like aprons or not. Okay, you can totally omit the Doritos, but I am just suggesting that you do it and use them. They are so good. They add that little bit of crunch and extra cheesy flavor. My family only eats Doritos on rare occasions and this meal is one of them and they always look forward to it. It just adds that little bit of extra that you want with a meal like this. baking we top ours with shredded lettuce diced tomatoes and lots of guacamole and salsa it is so delicious and filling let me know in the comments if you guys try it Thank you for hanging out with me today as I tackled a few things in my bedroom and fixed supper for my family. I shared last week a few to-dos as well, some things that I do as a homemaker that maybe get overlooked, but whenever it's time to tackle them, it's time. So if you enjoyed this video, I will link it up here. Make sure that you check it out. I try to post a video every single Monday, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't ever miss out. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment letting me know what you would like for me to share in the upcoming weeks here on The Quick Journey. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. We will see you guys next week. Bye.